What's up, everybody? Remington from Impulse Creative, and this morning I've got something for you. I'm really excited to talk about LeadBot 2.0 from Drift. They're announcing it today, and I want to give you a deep dive into all the functionality and how you can make it work for your business. The good news is, is there's not anything that you have to do different. This is automatically going to be added into your portal. And one of the best parts of this is that you're going to be able to start seeing where there are areas in your bot playbooks that fall off and don't have a resolution. So there's three items that this new LeadBot 2.0 tool allows for you to do that are pretty freaking exciting. One is, is you get to build out these conversations with a new visual builder. You actually get to see the workflows in action so that you understand where they go and where you can loop them back. It's much easier than just a chronological flow. The next one is, is we can quickly and we can easily add questions, responses, and goals, and you can see how they all branch out to each other. This is going to be incredible for some of those more advanced bots that can take some extra planning. And in the future, you'll be able to start seeing what's working and what isn't. And then the last part, probably one of my favorites, is you get to filter out unwanted leads based on email domain rules. So you can make it so that certain email domains, uh, if you have someone spamming your bot or you have some people that just shouldn't be engaging with your bot, you can make it so that there's a that there's a rule behind those domains and of course send them down a path so you can tell them that you're not interested right so there's three very intuitive things that they're adding to leadbot 2.0 but it's just absolutely beautiful so let's jump right in so as you can see here on the screen this is essentially going to be the new the new view as you get into the visual builder the visual builder is only available for actual chat bot playbooks. So it's not going to be working for the more chronological, you know, messaging that you'd have for like a welcome message or that kind of thing. But as we dig into the visual builder here, there's a lot going on. And so what I have is a, a copy of my offline bot that's set up here. And I'm just showing you how everything visually comes in. So you can edit your welcome message and there's this beautiful edit icon right here. And as you type that in, you get this drawer that comes out the side, which is absolutely beautiful and allows for you to have a little bit more of an intuitive um, experience when you're writing things in. As you go through, you'll see you've got the, the arrows pointing to each of the branches and we roll right into question one. And so if we're edit question one here, where before you had to individually go in and create responses for each one and then understand where the logic was going. Now you can see it all in one view. So as we look at question one, here's the overall question. And then you can see that we've got responses broken down and the buttons that we've got, or I'm looking to hire an agency, I'm just browsing and I'm interested in a career. So you, it shows you automatically what your individual answer would be to those questions. And you can edit each one of these individually and you can see that there's some extra options here. So you can, in the past, you're able to skip to a different question. But one of the things that's awesome here is we've got a couple extra features now. You've got the ability to just proceed to the next question, which is very standard. You've got a, an, You've got the ability to proceed to a different question. You could proceed to a goal and you could also loop the question. So maybe they maybe we want to loop an individual based on a question they have, or maybe someone just says they want to restart, right? You could have that loop and you could tell it where to go in the next section on the site. It can be really engaging. And then of course you can choose to end the conversation. So as you go through here, you'll have your, you know, your questions that you can choose from. And then of course you can set the default responses for each of the questions as well. So as you're going through and you're planning this, one of the cool things about having the drawer off to the right is if you're proceeding to another question, but you're not sure which question that is, you can see the drawer off to the right, but you can actually scroll on the left. And scrolling on the left allows for you to kind of see where you're at, but then also have the context of what that button or what that expected answer would be. 
So as we go back down, you can see that there's additional responses here. If I want to add a response, it's just as easy as typing add a response and then going in and clicking keywords. And so if you add a new keyword, you'll see that there is contains equal to or similar to, similar to what we had before. And you can add a variety of keywords and you can have a lot of the same rules. But the UI of this is so much more rich and it's gonna allow for you to create these and tell a story a little bit better about your bot rather than trying to figure out where things fit in. So some of the cool pieces here are you get to start to see whether you have any orphaned questions. So for instance, if we add a new question, here's the different things we can do. So from the bot logic point of view, we can add a question. And of course, it's going to show the different, um, the different questions that we could add. We can add in an email capture. Um, you can make it so that we can make it so it will automatically look up contacts. And of course, it'll, it'll validate those emails to make sure we got the right email, just like it did before. But we'll also be able to set up the domain exclusion. So as we come through here, we also have the phone number capture. And, you know, again, we can we can branch these out and then you've got the goals. And so the goals allow for us to go through and route conversations, the right people, you know, obviously decide on the lead stage. And so you can easily go through and intuitively add these goals as you go. But if I was to add just a question here, you'll see something that happens down here is this question is obviously not attached to any of the previous flows because the because of your actual um, the lines aren't connected. So if we go in and we edit this question here, um, you can see you can type in the contents of this of the question. And then of course, you can add in some add in some responses. So you can de set your default response. This of course is the button text. This can say awesome. I'd love to help. And if we hit save, you'll see that it's still just going to hang hang out right here. Now, if we want to connect these responses, what we can do is you're going to have to go into your previous questions. Um, let's say that we want to go from this question eight. If we add in another response and we'll say that this just says test. We scroll down while I'm doing this. I'll show you. So question 11 is what we want to connect to. We want to go to question 11. If we hit save, you'll see that that just added in the flow. And if we scroll up here, you can see how it's just matched question eight to a specific answer. And if you were to click this, of course, it would it would show you that there's one response in here. And if you click in, it would explode this out so you could see your planning and also where things are going. So this is a pretty freaking amazing addition to Drift and how you can now visually plan out your bots and make sure that everything is smooth. I think it's going to increase the ability for us to streamline the bot creation process as an agency, but it's really going to help you guys figure out and understand the flow if you have to have a conversation about this bot, you know, in the end. So as we look at your targeting, targeting set up very much the same way. They've just kind of enhanced the UI a little bit here. And then of course you can set up your audiences and your targeting just like you did before. So if you have any questions about this, let me know, please share this out and let people know about how excited you are for Leadbot 2.0. If you'd like to see other tutorials we've done, you can go ahead and you can do that right here. And if you'd like to subscribe to our channel for these daily video tips, you can go ahead and do that right here. Until next time, I'm Remington from Impulse Creative. Have a great day.